So I don't know about you, but I've woken up certain mornings and especially today where I look in the mirror and I was like, you fat slob, what are you doing with yourself? You look disgusting. And all this negative talk starts seeping into everything I'm doing. And it actually makes me feel depressed and it makes me feel like the day is not even going to go that well because I've started off on this negative tone and I can't get myself out of the loop. And I think it's wildly destructive because I'm fat compared to who? I'm a slob compared to who? Why am I deciding that today is the day that I'm disgusting and worthless? And how do I turn that around? And it can't be going out in the world and waiting for somebody to validate and say that I'm pretty or say that I'm thin because basically what that's doing is giving my power away to other people and allowing them to say to me what my worth is. I think the more empowered stance is to be able to, yeah, recognize when you're having one of those moments because we're all gonna have those moments, but how do you turn it around? How do you take those thoughts and turn it into something positive so you can change the tone of your day, change the empowerment that you feel, and change the confidence that you have so that you can make every day a positive day and not shame spiral yourself into some bullshit stuff that you just hear about on TV of how you should look or should act. We gotta stop that. So one thing that I do on a regular basis is something called EFT, it's called Emotional Freedom Technique. And it's really simple. You can do it in your car, you can do it at work, you can do it at the office. And it's a series of tapping points based on Chinese medicine and all the meridians that we have in our body to help you link the emotional negative stuff to positive affirmations and change the disruption that your bot, your brain is having with the rest of your body. So this is really useful for negative emotions. This is really useful for reducing cravings. This is really useful for just changing your thought process on a subject in itself um, and being able to include positive mantras to now break the sort of the dysfunction that's happening and bring you back into internal alignment with your emotional health. Now this can also help with pain management if you do it long enough. Ideally, you would wanna do this for 15 minutes, which I understand we don't all have. So I would say even just five minutes and running through some affirmations, and we're gonna go through some affirmations today on body positivity while we do the tapping so that you can make it your own and sort of fill in the blanks of the things that you really need to work on so that you can get out of a disjointed state out of this negative self-talk and move forward with your day because no one else is gonna be your cheerleader except for yourself. And if you don't start having better dialogue internally, how the hell do you think you're gonna put yourself out there in the real world with true confidence and be authentic and be congruent? It's not gonna happen. So let's do the EFT technique today on how to reframe for body positivity because honey, I need it too. So let's do the EFT tapping together with the body affirmation mantras that I built today that I'm gonna be using for my own day. Okay, take a deep breath in. Let it all out. We're gonna lightly start tapping at the top of the head and repeat after me. I love my body and all that it does for me. The number on the scale or the size of my jeans does not dictate my happiness. My worth is rooted outside of my looks. There is more to life than worrying about my weight and I'm ready to experience it. My needs are just as important than everyone else's. I will not compare myself to others. Social media photos are airbrushed and doctored and are not proper comparison of real bodies. I am not afraid of food. I eat for energy and nourishment. I honor my body with loving thoughts and healthy choices. I accept my body as it is right now. Now, ideally, you can do that three or four or five more times between like three to five minutes before you get your day going. Um, it's very important that as the emotions come up that you keep tapping. So if you're feeling even more emotional as you say these things out loud, it might be difficult for you to believe them at first. That just means that that's something that you should be doing on a regular basis. Now, I find a lot of people struggle with keeping up with habits on their own uh, just because of accountability, which is why in my practice, I start to install these types of rituals and these types of like body positive and health affirmating sort of things in your day-to-day -day life. And then you have somebody that's holding you accountable on the other side. And let me tell you, when you're spending money to do that, I'll be damned if you don't do it. <laughs> so I think it's really important if you're struggling to maintain this and you have go back to self-sabotaging habits, that you work with a coach like me, where we can work together to build this into your life until it becomes second nature. Like it's at a certain point, 
you've learned to just make coffee in the morning because that's your morning ritual. And when you learn to install these things on a regular basis, and then it becomes part of your ritual, now you become this even more powerful being. Like imagine if you did this every day for your money success. Imagine you did this every day for your body success. Imagine you did this every day for your relationship success. Everything you want, you can install in these mantras and then install that into your body by tapping into it. There's a lot of science behind this. I encourage you to look up EFT tapping. And if you're really struggling to get this or working on your own body positivity, give me a call, look me up on CaitlinInspires.com. I'd love to help you.